First of all, we're going to set up a new project. We're now in global and we select new project. Just go with the simple tracker initially. Select. And now enter the name of your project. And now submit. And there's your project. Now, what we're going to do is you can either use it from here or we're now going to associate the schemes we've already set up. What I'm going to do now is actually attach a image and there's one already prepared and this will image will help differentiate the project from all the other projects which you see listed on the screen and just confirm And I've just put a description in there, training session. Let's just select the project. Now the image is attached uh, to the project name. Now I'm going into administration within the project. And now I'm going to associate various schemes. So the first is the um, issue type. And I've just selected the GPS uh, test program. Now I'm going to attach a workflow scheme. And this is the scheme which is being defined for the test program and just associating that scheme now with the project and there it is GPS as the, uh, as the scheme Now I'm going to do in the field configuration here and the field configuration again is another scheme. So now we have the issue type, the workflow and the configuration. Now it's time to do the screen scheme. So we're using a different uh, selection now, moving away from the default and selecting GPS. and we're just associating that so now we have the issue type, the workflow, the field configuration scheme and also the screen scheme now we're going to do the notifications uh, again a notification has been set up we're moving away from the default. The notification here which we're going to select is that the reporter doesn't get an email notification otherwise the reporter email tray will be absolutely full. And now I'm going into permissions. Um, I'm given this is a EA related. I'm actually going to select the permission scheme already set up uh, for EA. Moving away from the default, and I've just now 
I have to select the GPS test program for Dioni. So everything now has been uh, set up for this project using the predefined schemes. And if we just create an issue, you can see now that we've got the, the format uh, which we've set up. Okay, now we're going to look at the upload of a CSV file. So we're starting off here in Excel. And I'm just going to save this now in a CSV format. Just give it a name. And save. Now you'll be have a few prompts there, you just select yes. And let's just have a look at that CSV file. So it doesn't matter about any formula in there, any colouring, colours which are in the original, uh, any borders, any frames. Uh, when it gets converted, it'll be a straight uh, text, delimited text. So now we're actually going into uh, the system within the global and we are now about to import that system file. So choose the file. So it's the, the test, Jira test upload. And now select next. Now find the project where you want to import. And in this case it was our test, test project. And now we're going to do the mapping of the fields. Now a signee um, in the Excel spreadsheet could either be the, um, the email address or the username. So I'm just going down here now mapping each of the fields in the CSV file to the JIRA record. This can be automated. Um, I haven't automated at this point because sometimes people have used different uh, column headings so I've been doing as a manual match but going forward we really would want this to be as automated as possible the only trouble is as I say if somebody spelt something incorrectly then you uh, will have a, a failure in the upload so um, at the moment it's been a manual manual linking process now some of the mappings are linking to custom fields created and some of them are to fields which are already within uh, JIRA um, as we've discussed, um, cycles are actually versions, uh, fixed versions, which are predefined fields within JIRA. So I'm just doing the matches here now. I actually ticked the uh, JIRA issue type, and I will also tick also the, um, the, the JIRA uh, status, and we'll see why this is important in a minute. I'm just going to tick, tick that now. Let's just carry on mapping these. And the process module, that's actually um, is component, uh, which again is a predefined field. Notice they can either look for the field or you can actually just use the search and uh, it will find. Here I'm saying I'm doing a bit mixture of both. And we're nearly done. You can actually tell which fields have been populated um, with, with information because you can see it just below the description on the left hand side. 
So that gives you a good indication whether there's any data actually within the uh, CSV file. And we're nearly there. Okay, let's just take a look now. Make sure everything's aligned. It's always worth just to do that check, because this is a manual linking process. And always check that you've ticked those two um, check boxes issue type and status. Okay, now select next. And we're now ready. You can see the links, um, the issue type, and we begin the import. This is where you cross your fingers and hope all is well. And oh, that was nice and quick. We're nearly, nearly, nearly there. Okay, that's great. So 33 issues have been uploaded. Let's go and quickly now have a look at that project and see those 33 records in there. And, <clears throat> and there they are. Thirty three records. Let's just have a look at one of them, see it populated. And there it is. And you also can see the assignee. Um, as we said earlier, that was actually in the CSV file upload. Let's now create a dashboard. So we're going to give this dashboard a name. And it's a test dashboard. And we're actually going to base it on an existing dashboard. So effectively, we are doing a copy. And I'm just selecting here who can actually view this dashboard and we're going to say that it's actually um, a group or sorry, a groups within project and this is the EA migration uh, project and you know we've already set up the permission schemes etc for this so we are going to allow the project team to view this dashboard so now we've got to start to um, manipulate this dashboard because it's based uh, really on all the links to um, to the original uh, project so what we need to do now is actually remap and we're remapping to queries And for this dashboard, I'm going to actually um, map it to the queries I've set up for uh, for EA migration. And we slowly work our way through this. It's a lot quicker than doing it from uh, from scratch. And obviously, save as you change. Now those queries were really a query on all the file uh, and now this is a query on the on the defects because this is the defect section now that we're looking at now clearly they're all disappearing because there are no defects 
uh, for the EA migration project. So just to recap, we've based the dashboard on an existing template. We shared the dashboard with the project team. And we've had to break the links with the original dashboard template by referencing the queries specific to the project which we're relating the dashboard to. And finally, there we have our dashboard. So our dashboard is linked to our project and it is a standard template which we're using for the test program.